Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to set up protector on Windows operating system and I will start from the very basics. So if you are complete beginner on protector, do not worry. I will start from scratch and step number one is we have to download and install Node.js. Protector is a Node.js program. So we first need to install Node.js. So I will go to my browser and I will go to Google and say download node.js and also I want to discuss that uh, over the years as a teacher I have experienced that sometimes I do some step on my system which is very easy however students face some issues doing the same step and sometimes this is because there may be some settings which are missing or some file or some software which is missing on the students system so for this particular tutorial on protector I have taken a complete fresh system you can see this is a windows system I will also have a session on Mac uh, this is for windows so I have taken a complete new system on Windows and even if I uh, show you my environment variables I will right click on this PC go to properties and go to advanced system settings environment variables you can see if I go to this path and say edit you can see there is nothing added here also if I go to this path here on system variables and go to edit all these are already existing I have not added anything here so this is a complete fresh system and I hope this will be useful uh, for people who are complete beginners so here step number one is download and install node.js I have, go I have gone to my browser and here is the link node.js.org en download I will go here and here you can see you can download node.js for your operating system and I'm on Windows so I will take Windows installer and here we have 32-bit and 64-bit option so again you can go to your my computer or this PC do a right click go to properties and go to advanced system settings uh, you need not go there you can see the bit size here so you can see in my case it is 64-bit operating system so I will get the 64-bit version so I will just go here and click on 64-bit and you can see it is starting it has started downloading the installer and once this is downloaded I can start the installation process so here this is step number one and step number two is you can also check if node is installed by the command node space hyphen v or you can say npm space hyphen v on the command line so if I go to my command line and say node space hyphen v you can see it is saying um, is not recognized as an internal or external command let me also increase the font I will do a right click properties and go to font and let me make some bigger font here all right I will also let me make it 24 all right so if I say npm space minus v again it is not recognized so now after we install node.js we should be able to get the versions for node and npm npm is the program manager for node so I will go and go to my installer this is here I will say show in folder and start the installation I will say next agree to the license you can read and agree and say next and this is the default location it goes in C program files node.js so I will keep the default and say next and here you can see uh, this will also add to the path environment variable which is important so just keep it as it is and say next and install So let us wait for the installation to get completed and I will say finish and now if I go to my command line and say node space minus v this is still not recognized so I will exit from here and open a new command line and now I will say node space hyphen v and you can see it is showing me the version of node.js installed and I can also say npm space minus v 
and I'm getting the version here. I can also say node space minus minus version which should give me the same output so this is done and also I can now go to my environment variables so if I go to my environment variables I will do a right click on this PC properties advanced system settings environment variables and if I go to the path under the user variables and I go to edit you can see it has added this path app data roaming npm so this has already taken care of the paths here just in case it is not added for you you can add it manually as well and if I go to path under the system variables and go to edit you can see it has added this node.js path here alright so we have done with our step number one which is we have set up and downloaded and installed node.js step number two is we will install protractor so protractor you can only install after you have added node.js and the command is npm so npm is the package manager for node that we use to install packages install minus g protractor we have used minus g flag so that it installs protractor globally on this system so i'm just going to go to my command line and say npm install minus g protector and hit enter and this will now download and install protractor on this system and it is done and you can run the command protractor minus v to check the version uh, let me see this should be I should say protector minus v or I can say protector minus minus version yes I'm getting the version here so that means this is now installed and also if I say if I run the command where protractor so this gives me the location of protractor so if I go to my folder which is C users and your username in my case it is administrator and then you will find here a hidden folder you can go to view and say enable hidden items and you should find a folder called app data here I will go inside this app data and go to roaming and npm note modules protector and you can see we have got this protector folder here also if I go inside protector folder again I have a folder called node modules if I go here you can see a lot of other folders here and here I also have a folder for selenium web driver so I will explain about this for now we have done our step number two which is install protector and also to check the version you can run this command protector minus minus version and also in the step number one I should also copy this URL for your reference and all these notes will be available along with this video so this is the URL you have to go to download node.js so we have done step number one and two step number three is now we have to run the command web driver hyphen manager and update now this command will create uh, the browser drivers under the selenium directory so i was showing you this we have a selenium web driver here and this command will get the browser driver so you can see we have the selenium web driver uh, we do not have a selenium directory as of yet so let me first run this command and i will show you i am just running this web driver manager and update so you can see it has downloaded some browser drivers and now 
if I go to my node modules under my protector folder if I go to node modules and here you can see if I go here under selenium web driver you can see here we have this Firefox here and then I should be getting some uh, browser drivers uh, let me just show you uh, so this is web driver manager selenium so yes so here I should find this folder so this it has created a new folder here so I should go under web driver manager and then I should find selenium so I will go here selenium node modules and I have web driver manager here now and now I should find a selenium folder under this and now you can see these browser drivers Chrome and Firefox, uh, Geeko driver for Firefox, all this is added. So now it will help us to run our test on these browsers. So I have done this and this completes our step number three, which is run the command web driver manager update. And now step number four is uh, find conf.js file and this will be available at if you go again to your npm folder and then go to node modules and go to protractor and go to example here you should find these files conf.js and example underscore spec.js and these are javascript files if i go to view and say file name extensions you can see this is javascript so let me also copy this location you should find it here and of course in your case the username can be different in my case it is administrator it can be your username so you will find this file here and we can now run this file if i just open this file let me just open this file i am just opening on a notepad as of now later in this session we will see how to use some ide so you can see this is a file that we can run with protector and it tells what is the browser to be used so it is saying we need to use chrome browser it is using a jasmine framework i will tell you about this later and it is also using the spec file which is example underscore spec dot js and this file is here you can see example underscore spec dot js if i open this file this has our actual test so it is going to this angular dot js website it is adding the word julie on some particular element and then it is verifying expecting hello julie text so this is what it is running and i will explain you exactly how to create and run these tests later for now i will just go to my command prompt and go to the location of this file and then this is what we have to do on command line go to the location of this file and run command protector conf.js so what you have to do is just copy the location of this file which is this you can copy this and go to your command line and say cd and this location or a shortcut is you can just go to the folder and I am on this folder where I have conf.js I will go to the address bar here and I will just say here cmd and hit enter so what it will do is it will start command line on the same location where this file is so you can see it has started command line on this location and now I have to run the command I will say protector and the file name which is conf.js and run this and let us see what happens and you can see it is starting a chrome browser and running our test and that's it and if you look at the logs here you can see three green dots that means there are three tests and all three are passed or you can say specs there are three specs and zero failures and everything is working fine so if you are able to run this that means this should be running fine and also if you go to the protector website if I go to Google and go to protector 
and go to this protector test.org so this is the website for protector and you can see it has also shown us the same setup this is how we install protector this is how we update webdriver manager so here when we install protector we also get webdriver manager but then we have to run the command webdriver manager update to get the browser driver exe files and then you need to also say webdriver manager start however in our case we did not do that because if you look at the conf.js file or this example.spec file if I see this uh, here let me just show you conf.js in this file you can see it is saying direct connect is true so if we say direct connect as true that means you do not have to explicitly start the web driver manager it will start on itself so that's why we have not used this and then you can see some examples of test and configuration file that we have already seen and this is how you run the protector test so this was just a starting in the coming sessions we are going to do a lot with protector we will go step by step and learn everything on protector i will have a separate session for mac as well and we will learn protector in a very basic step by step way i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching